welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Uh, my name is Juana. Um, today we're going to be working with sublimation. I'm going to show you how to sublimate a shirt, actually a couple of shirts. Um, I'm going to be taking it from the beginning all the way to the end. Um, if you're new, I'm going to show you how to download the file, how to take it to your printer, and then place it on the shirt, okay? So let's have some fun. Let's get started. So I am in Silhouette Studio. You can also use Cricut Design Space to accomplish this task, especially now that Design Space from Cricut allows you to print larger sizes and print them cut. I'm going to be using my Epson Ecotan 15000 that prints large images. I'm also going to be using my um, Cosmos ink that is in that um, printer. It's a sublimation ink. Also going to be using a sub paper as my sublimation paper. Okay, everything is going to be listed on my description box. You can check it out. All right. If you don't have your design safe like I do in here, I have mine saved in the library section. Um, I'm going to show you that all you have to do is like in any other software, you're going to go to your files course, right? And you're going to uh, pick whatever you want to pick to um, save and open in Silhouette. Um, I Mine is already um, picked, so I'm not going to go through this. But let's say you pick one, it's going to appear here. Or all you have to do is press OK, and it will appear in the Silhouette um screen right here uh, and mine I always save in silhouette library in this case it's right here I'm gonna click this and it should open my library and I should be able to find the design that I want to work with and um, it's right here I'm gonna click it twice double click and it's gonna open up right here look at how beautiful right so the next thing that I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to check um, make sure that I have um, the paper size that I want. And since this one is a large design, I'm gonna go to the paper icon over here. I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna choose A3. A3 is 8.6 by 16.5, um, the dimensions of the paper. And um, it's gonna be upright as opposed to um, horizontal. It's gonna be vertical. So everything is right here. Um, and then the next thing that I'm going to do um, is I'm going to click the design to make sure that I have the correct um, dimensions. And I do. My um, design is going to be a 10.8 um, by 12.6. I have already worked on this. I'm just showing you an example. It's already done. Once I'm sure of the sizing that I want, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go to my upper left. I'm going to hit the printer icon. And um, it's going to open up. Of course, you're going to see that this paper is almost in half because I haven't um, changed the paper size on my printer. So I'm going to hit print. This is the page that I'm looking for. These are my printer settings. I'm going to choose the printer that I want. In this case, I'm going to use my Epson um, Ecotank 15000 because that one is the one who prints larger size paper gonna choose that and then I'm gonna go to my preferences to make sure that I'm gonna pick the right size paper. Right now it's on letter size. I don't want it on letter size. So I'm gonna click here. I'm gonna choose A3, the same one that I chose on the Silhouette software. And then I'm gonna do okay. All right. Um, I'm gonna go ahead before I do that, let me go to preferences again. I'm gonna open up, I'm gonna to go to more options to make sure that our, the rest of the settings are fine. Um, it says that is um, mirror image by directional printing. Um, I gonna click this off because I don't need this. Um, I'm just gonna make sure that it's a mirror image. I don't mirror, you can mirror it uh, once you are in silhouette, but I'd rather do it here because this is the way my um, printer is already set up when I bought it. I already. Um, put it in my preferences in the printer. I put mirror image because I know those printers are, are going to be always for uh, printing sublimation. So, you know, I left that at mirror image um, setup. All right, like a default. I'm going to click OK. 
And then in this case, uh, once I have everything that I want, I'm gonna hit print. Right now, I'm not gonna do it because I already printed it ahead of time. So you will print, print, and then it's gonna print in your printer like a regular printout, okay? Uh, and before you do that, make sure that you uh, hit apply, all right? Hit apply because that makes sure that everything that you set up in here um, is gonna be applied to it. So you're gonna, then after that, you're gonna hit print. And that's it, people. So um, like I said, I have already printed it out. So we're gonna go to the table. I'm gonna be working um, with the shirt and um, explaining you all the process on how to prepare the shirt and how to place your image or your printout, all right? In other words, we're gonna start pressing the shirt, <laughs> all right? So I see you in a little bit, people, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean the shirt. If you hear that background noise, that's my Cricut maker. Um, I'm cutting some rhinestone template. Um, so I'm multitasking here, okay? So I'm gonna clean the shirt for those who have been here. You know the drill, I've done this before. And this is necessary for me to um, make sure that there's no dust in the shirt because any dust on a shirt is going to show as a blue marking and we don't want that okay All right next next thing that i'm gonna do is um warm it up for a couple of seconds i'm gonna move the camera around so that you can see better okay just for a couple of seconds all right it's gonna dry out the moisture on the fabric of the shirt okay Take it off the table because this is a longer shirt. I'm gonna place it on the table. Push we'll around again. I have more room in here to work. All right. Just gonna We're gonna use the um, heat resistant tape. I um, did a video the other day, uh, a couple of days ago, showing the new um, upgrade for Cricut design space. And now you can print um, larger design when it comes to print and cut. And I printed a design on a shirt for sublimation. So you probably saw that video. So this is the same thing. I'm gonna place a piece of boucher paper from under the shirt. Okay. Hopefully this is wide enough. I will probably use another wider piece because this is signed. Was a little bit water than I thought. So let's place this piece in here. Make sure that everything is covered up. And just for reviewing, the reason why we do the butcher paper is because sublimation ink is a um, Ink that when it heats up, it can it becomes a, ga a gas and it travels. It travels, and if you don't protect your shirt or your press, it will travel 
up and it will um, deposit into the press and then you can use it for anything else because it will stay there for a long time. And then also for the shirt, if I don't put this protection, this ink is gonna go to the back of the shirt and we don't want that. That's why we use the blue shirt paper. So now we're ready. Now I'm gonna move you around again, okay? a little bit higher because it's too low over here. I want to make sure that it's going to be covered by the press. I have enough space in here. And I have enough space in here. Okay. Should be good. And then I'm going to place the other piece of bullshit paper on top. Alright. So let's go people. It's going to be here for 60 seconds. And of course, with the magic of the camera. Okay, this one is ready. Let me make sure that you can see what it's gonna be looking like. What he says is, let me take a piece of paper. What he says is, I don't need therapy. I just need to go to Puerto Rico. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? Yes. All right, so we're gonna do the next one. Okay, so this is the second shirt. So I already warmed up the shirt. I replaced the butcher paper on the shirt. And all I have to do is place the design. Always measure to make sure that it's at center. I didn't mention these shirts are Cricut um, sublimation shirts. They are a hundred percent polyester. Okay, perfect. I've been eyeballing all these designs lately, like on the dot. My goodness, I guess I've done so many <laughs> of them that I'm just getting better um, at eyeballing the position. Of the sign on the shirt. Okay, so let me pull it a little bit higher. Here. Okay, so let's place the book shape paper on top. And by the magic of the camera. Is the one is done. Let me turn this up. Now oh, that background noise is loud. And this is amazing, people. Look at how gorgeous. Let me take you closer. I love these colors. Faith over fear. So I'm done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, take it to the table so that you can get a better view of the whole shirt. But I love this design when I saw it. I think I got this from was it Creative Fabrica. I think it was Creative Fabrica or maybe Etsy. It's either or because I either get it from Creative Fabrica or Etsy. Those are the two places that I get my designs from. Look at how pretty people. I'm going to take you to the table, okay? I'll be back, people. I love it. They came out amazing. You can never go wrong with um, sublimation. Beautiful. 
guys i hope you like this little tutorial um if you have any questions about the whole process you can let me know and write those questions down on the description box okay um if you're new to my channel and you have not subscribed yet consider subscribing to my channel the crafty puerto rican this is a kind of craft that i do and i include a lot of other um craft and um, you can go check out my channel all right um also don't forget to click the thumb up if you like this content it will really help my channel a lot and i will really appreciate it um don't forget to click the notification bell because that will let you know of all my future videos all right um also i am inviting people to join my facebook group it's a private group and it's called the crafty puerto rican hub so guys i think this is gonna be everything for now bye bye hasta luego